Hey guys, as always, thanks for stopping by. I want to kick off the year a little bit different. It's a top 10 list, my favorite top 10 handguns of all time. Now, this list changes. It's in flux at all times. So it's kind of a top 10 list for today because maybe six months from now, a year from now, this list will change. Now, two things right up front. Number one, this is not about duty weapons or what you're going to kick down doors with. This is not about tactical or specific purpose handguns. But number two, it is about what I grab on the way to the range. It's guns that I absolutely love. And I'm going to miss some stuff as well. So I'm going to end with a question for y'all about what did I miss? But I hope y'all have fun. It's a top 10 list that's kind of changing at all times. My favorite 10 guns of all time. Coming in at number 10 is a little bit different. It's the Beretta Cougar, the what you say? Yeah, it's from the 90s. It's the 8000 series from Beretta. It has a rare rotating barrel. Now, Stoker made them for a while in Turkey, but I like the original ones made in Italy. Coming in at number nine is another oldie but a goodie. It's the Makarov in military use for 75 years and counting. They're cheap to buy, cheap to shoot, stupid, reliable, and quirky enough to get my attention. Now, whether you get the easy to find civilian model from Russia or the hard to find East German model you see here, they're all pretty much the same and I really like them. I think every collection should have one. Coming in at number eight is the 509 series from FN. Now this series keeps climbing on my list. Now sure, it's just another dumb plastic striker gun, but at the range, I can't miss with it. Fantastic reliability. And the compact version here has made its way to my EDC lineup. Big shout out to Belgium. Coming in at number seven is, and don't laugh, I'm really serious about this, it's the Desert Eagle from Magnum Research. It's the largest handgun in the world, and it operates more like an AR than a pistol. It's big, it's loud, but it's surprisingly easy to shoot if you can afford the ammo LOL. Let's head to number six. It's one that y'all have heard me talk about a bunch. It's a CZ-75 PCR, Police Czech Republic, and it's right in that sweet spot of being fun at the range, but also you know small enough to concealed carry. It's kind of in a sweet spot there. Now, it's got an alloy frame, a gorgeous finish, flawless reliability. I have a full review on this one. I'll put a link down below. Coming in at number five is an entire series of handguns. It's the 5900 and 6900 family from Smith & Wesson. Huge number of variants. The ultimate is the 5906 used in every 90s cop movie. And here's my personal 6904. Now, the 5900 and 6900s are just the start Smith & Wesson has produced a lot in that family. So coming in at that spot is an entire family of guns. And let's stay in the Smith & Wesson world. Coming in at number four, you have to ask yourself one question. Yep, it's the Dirty Harry 29. It's a 44 Magnum. Now this one that I have is the 29.2 and it's got the crazy eight and three eighths inch barrel. Why? Because I love the movie. Gorgeous grips, a gorgeous finish, and this one absolutely makes my day. Worst Dirty Harry impression ever. For number three and number two, we're going to group these together, and it's a sweet pair from CZ, but I think you're going to be surprised at the order here. Number three is the CZ Shadow 2 fiber optic sights, one of the best stock triggers in the game and those gorgeous aluminum grips. People love the Shadow Series, and I really could not be happier with mine. Now, I said the order was a little wonky here. Coming in at number two is the CZ75 SP01 Tactical, and I think this is the dark horse of the list. It runs like a Swiss sewing machine. It's big, it's accurate, and it comes ready for your suppressor, both with a threaded barrel and suppressor height sights. And it's maybe the ultimate home defense gun. And get this, it is half the price of the Shadow 2. That's not the reason it's number two for me. It's above the Shadow because I just like it more and I take it to the range 
a lot more often. Okay, before we get to number one, I have an honorable mention for you. Yep, you may already be wondering where it is on the list. Of course it's here. It's the Glock 19. Now, right now, I only own variants of the 19, but I've owned a bunch of them. They run. Of course they run. Any top 10 list would be remiss without mentioning the G19. It's kind of almost in a class by itself, which is why I'm going to give it the honorable mention. And my number one handgun of all time, yeah, some of y'all already know what it is. Don't call it the Baby Eagle. It's the IWI Jericho 941F. It's still framed. It's three pounds, and it is a monster. I love the trigger. I love the heft. I've got four of them, and I'm still shopping for more. And in my hands, it has 100-yard accuracy. It's the Jericho 941F, and it is my current all-time number one. And the question for y'all, what did I miss? What did I leave out? And maybe what did I get wrong? Let me know right down below. That's my top 10 list of all time. I'm Johnny, and I'm happy.